Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a video um, after I talked a little bit about what my doctor had said, uh, just how I felt about everything, and um, you know, just kind of a reaction to it all. Obviously, I'm hugely disappointed in myself because I, you know, I feel like gestational diabetes is something that most people can control. It's something that's brought on, you know, by actions, by um, you know, things you do, where a lot of things in life are not that way. You know, if you get um, I don't know, anything else, you know, there's things that you just, you can't control and there's things that you can. And it's not to say that if you control everything that you won't get gestational diabetes, but I think that the factors, um, that cause it, you know, being overweight, um, <clears throat> you know, not exercising, things like that, you know, th those are things that I knew I was not doing and still, um, you know, still a little shocked that I ended up getting gestational diabetes. Um, so yeah, I'm totally, totally disappointed in myself and I'm trying not to be too hard on myself because I don't want to get to a point where like I'm, um, you know, bummed out about it. That's not where I need to be at this point. I have it. I need to suck it up and do what I have to do to make the changes in my life. Uh, like I said, you know, this can lead to type 2 diabetes where I absolutely do not want to go. Um, especially with everything going on with my mom, you know, it's a huge wake up call to see somebody, um, you know, that has not managed her health. And I just feel like if I don't do something, I'm going to be exactly where she is. I, you know, I thank God that, <clears throat> you know, I think that the stroke scared her enough where she's made changes. Her blood sugars have been just absolutely excellent. And, um, you know, I can learn from her in a couple different ways. I can learn from the mistakes that she's made and I can learn from the strength that she has at, you know, she's almost 60 to change her life and change her lifestyle, change things she's probably always done, um, you know, at, at a point in her life where most people don't make those kind of changes. So, um, basically, you know, my husband and I, we had a nice long talk and, um, you know, we're going to um, start staying home more. Uh, we, for a while there, especially with my mom, we were eating out a lot, <clears throat> running to the hospital and everything. And, you know, I think that you always make excuses for why you do things. And it sometimes is a lot easier to just grab something out than it is to actually come home and have to dirty dishes and get stuff, especially at that time. Because again, this is an excuse because there was no time to do things like dishes and stuff. I mean, I was staying the night in the hospital with her and, um, you know, we were over there all the time. But it, it's an excuse. It doesn't mean, I mean, I was pregnant at the time. It, I needed to take care of myself. Um, so it's just time to take responsibility and not just during pregnancy. This is not something that I want to change during pregnancy. And then, you know, when Nate's here, I'll slip right back into my own ways. I don't want to do that. Um, for a couple reasons for myself, you know, uh, I've always struggled with weight and I've struggled with, you know, doing the right thing in regards to it and in with my relationship with food and I don't want those to ever be struggles that he has and I think that if we're able to and I talked to that a little bit about or I talked with the doctor a little bit about that <clears throat> that if we're able to make changes now it'll never be something that Nate is concerned with um, you know he won't have that relationship food will be nutrition to him and treats once in a while it won't be you know everything in his life um, and that's what's best for him now, you know, now that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pregnant with him and it's what's best for him in the future as well. Um, you know, one thing that can be like a positive or a negative, depending on how you view it, but I'm going to try to view it in the positive way, is that I've done this before. Um, I think a lot of people that have issues with weight have times where they've been really successful with it and times where they've really failed at it. And, um, you know, I've gone through periods of my life where I've lost huge amounts of weight. Not like, you know, some people have lost. I mean, there's people that have lost hundreds of pounds. I've never done that. But, you know, I've lost like, um, you know, 60 pounds or so, which that's, that's a good amount of weight. Um, you know, when I met my husband, I was probably 80 pounds lighter than I am right now. Um, and that was just seven years ago. I mean, that's, it's just, you know, I think, that, and, it, and it's what weight does to you. Like, it, you just think back and... Um, you just have so much more energy. I mean, it's it's such like a trickle down thing. You know, you're heavier, so you don't do as much. You're tired. You know, you don't. You don't. I just. It's. It's. I know with me, and this is only with me because not everyone's the same way. But I know for with me, when um, 
you know, I'm heavier. I don't do as much. I don't go out as much. I used to do so much stuff. Um, <clears throat> and I, there's just so much I want to change. And it all starts with what I eat. Um, let's see. So I'm going to try to, like I said, I mean, I can look at the the weight loss. and Well, I can look at how I failed. You know, I thought I would do it before and ended up quitting. But I'm going to try not to think about that. I'm going to try to think about, um, you know, our future, what it means for us as a family. Um, you know, it's funny because my husband doesn't have these same issues. I mean, he does and he doesn't. My husband is like a total food lover, you know, and, and I'd like to blame him and say that this is all his fault <laughs> because he like food is what he thinks about every single second of the day. But the difference for him is that he's, you know, totally well within his, his, I mean, he's not overweight. He's, um, you know, very much in shape. Um, he's got a much more physically demanding job, <clears throat> you know, than I've ever had. He's on his feet all day and he's lifting, you know, heavy things and whatever. So what he eats, you know, kind of balances out. Not that the sugar or anything is good for him because it's not good for anybody. Excuse me, and I've always said that. That just because it doesn't physically show on him doesn't mean that, you know, eating healthy wouldn't benefit him as well. <clears throat> so, with that being said, we are going to, you know, start walking every night for, uh, you know, at least 20 minutes. As um, the pregnancy progresses and everything, I'd like to say I'd be able to do a little bit more than that. But I don't know, with my hip pain and stuff, I, I'm just going to set the bar at, you know, 20 minutes. And then after uh, Nate is born... You know, and after I, depending on how he's born, whether it be a C-section or uh, vaginally, you know, I'm going to give myself time to recover, obviously, and then get right back out there and do it with a stroller. That's why I bought a stroller. <clears throat> so, I just think it's, we have to adapt these things into our life. Like I said, we're going to stay home more. We're going to eat uh, better, you know, more vegetables and and um, less prepared things, which we, we don't eat a lot of prepared things unless we're eating out. But um, lately, we have eaten, eaten out a lot. So, um, and it's cheaper, too. I mean, there's so many benefits to doing it. And I'm just going to keep trying to think of the benefits. It's, you know, much more expensive to eat out. A lot cheaper to eat at home. Um, and I really look forward to our walks. My husband and I used to walk, um, especially in the summer. There's a park, like, a mile away or so. We would walk to the park and walk back. And it's so nice because, like, it's like a time where there's no TV, there's no phones, um, and you can just sit, you can bond, or not sit, you can just talk and bond, um, you know, talk about your days and stuff. And I really miss that, um, you know, with all the hecticness of everything. And, I mean, there's at the park there's a playground, so when Nate's a little bit older, we can walk there and he'll be able to play. Um, and it's just, I mean, there are so many benefits to doing it. So we're just going to do it. It's that simple. Um like I said, I suspect that I will probably lose a little bit of weight even pregnant. Um, I'm definitely not shooting for that because, um, you know, it's not healthy probably to lose huge amounts of weight. But like I said before, my doctor has no problem with, you know, 5, 10, 20 pounds between now and the rest of pregnancy. So that's that. If you guys have any uh, suggestions on, like, websites or anything, you know, that would help along the journey or anything like that or any information on gestational diabetes, that <clears throat> maybe uh, other people you subscribe to that had it or something like that. I'd really like to maybe subscribe to somebody new to see, even if it's somebody that's already gone through it and has the baby and whatever, um, just to see where they're at. Okay, thanks so much uh, for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.